The Boeing X-20 Dinosaur was a remarkable experimental space plane that was developed by the United States Air Force in the late 1950s and early 1960s. The project aimed to create a vehicle that could be launched into space on top of a rocket, orbit the Earth, and then re-enter the atmosphere and glide to a landing. Although the X-20 dinosaur never made it into space, it was a significant milestone in the history of space exploration, representing an impressive achievement of engineering. The X-20 dinosaur project emerged in the context of the Cold War, which was a period of intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. In the late 1950s, the Soviet Union had made significant progress in space technology, launching the first satellite, Sputnik 1, and the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space. This spurred the United States to ramp up its own space program, leading to the creation of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, in 1958. The X-20 Dinosaur Project was part of the United States Air Force's efforts to develop a reusable spacecraft that could perform a variety of military and civilian missions. The vehicle was designed to be launched on top of a Titan III rocket, which would boost it into orbit. Once in space, the X-20 Dinosaur would use its onboard engines to maneuver and maintain its orbit. The vehicle's unique delta wing shape allowed it to glide through the atmosphere and land on a runway, like a conventional airplane. The X-20 Dinosaur was a complex spacecraft, incorporating advanced technology in a number of areas. The vehicle's heat shield, for example, was made of a special material called carbon phenolic, which was designed to protect the spacecraft from the intense heat of re-entry. The X-20 Dinosaur also had an advanced guidance and control system, which allowed it to maneuver in space and make precise landings. In addition to its technological innovations, the X-20 Dinosaur project was notable for its ambitious goals. The spacecraft was envisioned as a versatile platform that could perform a range of missions, including reconnaissance, satellite deployment, and even manned missions to the moon. The Air Force also envisioned the X-20 Dinosaur as a potential weapon, capable of delivering nuclear payloads anywhere on Earth. In 1963, after six years of development, the X-20 Dinosaur project was cancelled, due to budget constraints and shifting priorities within the military. Although the X-20 Dinosaur never made it into space, its legacy lived on. The project served as a precursor to the Space Shuttle program, which would later develop a reusable spacecraft that could perform a range of missions. The X-20 Dinosaur also paved the way for other experimental space planes, such as the Soviet Union's Buran spacecraft and NASA's X-33 program. Today, the X-20 Dinosaur is remembered as a remarkable achievement of engineering, and a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the scientists and engineers who worked on the project. Although the X-20 Dinosaur never achieved its lofty goals, its legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of space explorers to push the boundaries of what is possible.